Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and I'm back with another MAC holiday collection video. This time I'm going to be lip swatching all of the lip colors from the Snowball mini lipstick kit. On Monday I posted a video with a ton of product info about all of the pieces from this Snowball collection that are available now. I'll link that below if you want to go check that one out too. This is one of the pieces from this holiday collection that everybody has been going nuts for. It's already sold out in a lot of places. I did purchase mine in store, so if you're not able to find it online, then go and check your local Mac store. Ulta also has this available on their website. At the time that I'm filming this, it is still available on Ulta's website, so if it's still there by the time I put this video up, I'll link that below for you too. Let me give you some quick product info and then we'll get to the lip swatches. This set retails for $69.50 US. It comes with 12 mini lipsticks and it also has this really beautiful case. And this is a really sturdy case. This is definitely a display piece. I love the rose gold detailing. I love the texture. It does have a magnetic closure. It's beautiful inside as well. It has all the cutouts to keep your little lipsticks all snug and cozy. This collection has really cool outer packaging too. It is a lightweight plastic and it has these geometric rose gold snowflakes printed on it. The little lipsticks themselves also have really, really cute packaging. Each shade has a color coordinated metallic bullet and these are minis. I'm gonna show you the size of these mini lipsticks compared to a full size MAC lipstick so you can see the difference. There are 12 lip shades in this kit nine of which are classic MAC favorites. It seems to me that these three are special limited edition shades. I searched the MAC website and I also just Google searched all of these shade names and it looks like this pink shade called Good Kisser is a re-promote from a previous limited edition collection back in 2014. The shades Party Commencing and Little Darling, I couldn't find anything on them. They're not for sale individually on MAC's website. I didn't find any info about these, so that leads me to believe that these are limited edition shades. Like I said, I purchased my set in store. This was not sent to me as PR, so I don't have any sort of PR materials about this set. I'm just going off of what I could find online. If you have any further information about these shades or you recognize them from a previous limited edition collection, please leave a comment and let us know. You guys are always so helpful with stuff like that, so I really appreciate it. Before I get to the lip swatches, I do want to point out all of these shades are mattes except for Rebel, which is a satin. Now that you have the info, let's get to the swatches. First up, we have the shade Please Me, which is a muted rosy pink. This is one of the new shades, it's Party Commencing, and MAC describes it as a light neutral pink, but I really think it's more of a cool toned bubblegum pink. This one is called Little Darling, and MAC calls it a light nude, but on me it definitely looks more like a nudie peach. Next up is Mangrove, which is a hot orangey red. This is one of my all-time favorite red lipsticks. It's Ruby Woo and it's a beautiful, vivid, blue-based red. I do want to point out that the Ruby Woo in this set is a matte and the original Ruby Woo is a retro matte and that difference in finish does make them appear just a little bit different. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison for you. This is Good Kisser. It's a mid-tone fuchsia pink, and like I mentioned before, this is a re-promote from a previous limited edition collection. This bright pinky plum is called Flat Out Fab. There is a retro matte shade called Flat Out Fabulous. These are not exactly the same, though they do look similar on the lips. Once they're swatched next to each other, you can see that Flat Out Fabulous looks a little bit deeper and a little bit more blue than her sister Flat Out Fab. This is Rebel and being the rebel of the group, this is the only satin in this set. It's a mid-tone berry meets plum shade. Next up is Stone. This is a grayish taupe brown.
Here is another one of my favorites. This is Whirl and it's a dirty rose. Velvet Teddy is one of my go-to nudes. It's a warm, deep beige. Last up, we have Diva. She's an intense reddish burgundy and she is perfect for the holidays. Okay, we made it through all 12 swatches. I think it's no surprise. I absolutely love this set. I think this is a great addition to any lipstick lovers collection. The shade range was really well planned. These lip colors are gonna be flattering on a lot of different skin tones. There's something for everyone, something for every occasion. And these shades, because they are classics, they're going to work throughout the year no matter the season. The packaging of the lipsticks is just ridiculously pretty. The box on point, all the details have been taken care of. I really think this is a great set. It's a great investment. If you have the ability to get your hands on this, I highly recommend it. It is flying off the shelves really quickly. So if you're on the fence, now's the time to decide. But as for me, I really, really recommend this set. Did you manage to snag this set? Is it on your wish list? I'd love to hear your thoughts. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I'm so excited. Snowball, what? Dance. Snow, snow, snowball, what? It's so beautiful. Snowball, what? Snow, snow, snowball, what? What? Dance. I'm so excited. Rocket, rock, rocket. What's up? Rocket, rock, rocket. Dance. It's so beautiful. Snowball, spontaneously break into dance. Dance. Rocket, rock, rocket. Crushed it. Sorry about that. You so good, Ruby. Ooh, wrong direction. YouTube videos brought to you by Caffeine. Ah, <laughs>